And developing right now, residents speaking out about the horror at Heron Pond at the condominiums there in Pembroke Pines. They're scared they'll eventually be forced out, and Local 10's Roy Ramos explains why. Since we first told you about this condominium association, two buildings had been deemed unsafe and residents had been given a 10-day notice to evacuate. Well, that number has now changed to six buildings and residents have been ordered to leave. But people we spoke with here today worry that it is only a matter of time before every building here on the property will be closed off. It was in mid-August we first told you about large cracks spotted in the buildings and steel supports shoring up balconies on nearly all 19 buildings of Heron Pond condominiums. Well, residents we spoke with then say they started to receive notices posted to their front doors back in January, and they began to worry. Since then, six of the 19 buildings on the property have been deemed unsafe, and residents have had to evacuate. Since no significant repairs have been made to the buildings as of yesterday, the city of Pembroke Pines has given the condo association a 30-day notice to provide an engineering report of the structural integrity of the remaining 13 buildings on the property or everyone will be ordered out. Residents I spoke with today now reacting to that notice given. So yesterday they came with another notice. Um, it's a 30-day um, notice and they're saying that if the, if the condominium doesn't give them a plan either to evacuate or to fix the buildings, then um, at that time, 10 days will be given for everyone else to evacuate the building. And I just got a chance to speak with the property manager who said they were aware of that 30-day notice provided to them by the city of Pembroke Pines. However, they declined to comment any further. For now in Pembroke Pines, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.